Hey guys, Adam here, and I am extremely excited because I'm opening the Pokemon Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Booster Box, and I am just too excited, so I'm going to open this right now. Um, and now there is a special way I got this, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but Darium CCGs, um, they also have a YouTube channel, which I can link in the description. Um, if you trade in 1400 bolt cards, you get a free booster box. Well, it's not like free, because you trade in 1400 booster or bolt cards. But you get a booster box, and I did that. And I was like, that's gonna be cool, because I actually heard about it from a kid at my school did it. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can do this. I've opened two other booster boxes, but I've never opened this one live. Oh, no. So I'm gonna actually just like, you know, just like, eh, get there. Look at Venusaur in on this side. Because Venusaur is way cooler. Yeah, that'll work. But I'm extremely excited to do this. Um, I'm going to do this half first, and this half second. I'm going to start with this half, and if I was going to say I really wanted something, it's Tapu Lele Hyper Rare. Who doesn't want that? Because it's expensive. Or a double colorless energy secret rare. Um, but just like my favorite Hyper Rare, just based on looks only, is Wishy Washy, and I honestly have no idea why. So, I'm extremely excited, so we're going to jump right into this. Wow. Wow, that's not opening. Oh. Okay, I'm just popping that. Wow, it's really not as easy. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to spoil the codes. So, there's a code. This here. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh my goodness. We got, and I already have opened this set. I'm um, not on camera fair energy, but just like because um, but anyways, nose past the deli bird, uh, but because I went to a pre-release, but Rockra, Salandit, Murkrow, Komala, Multi Switch, Watchog, Matang. The first rare is going to be Trevenant, which is not bad for the deck I'm building. I should not do that to the bottoms of my cards. I'm sorry. But, um, for the deck I'm building, Trevenant's actually going to be pretty good in it, because it's an item lock deck, and, uh, Poltergeist is good. Is good. Oh, I looked at, I screwed that up already, but whatever, it's a white code, so I, I already screwed it up, but it's okay. I don't know. I hope it's a hyper. Plus, it's, I don't know, like, let's get, like, let's shoot for 50 hyper, I, it's a GX, I already saw <laughs> Sorry guys, I accidentally looked. I didn't see what GX, but it's a GX. Alone Sandshrew, uh, Murkrow, Heliaptile, Machop, Slowpoke, Komala, Glyscor, Machoke. Wait, didn't I already get a Machoke? Wait a minute. Oh, I got Machop. Reverse Drampa, that's where it, Watch it be Drampa GX. It's full Art Hala. Okay. So... I, I like that. It's not like a ton of money. I have Jack here if you didn't know. But it's a very nice card. Um, no, I'm not going to use it. But <clears throat> Which I think the average for this is six. Six. Um, what are they called? Six uh, GXs. I, I just can't English right now. I'm gonna throw all these empty packs on the floor behind me. One, two, three, four, one, two. But starting off the booster pack with four Hala is not bad. Our energy is a psychic energy. JK, it's fighting. I, I was hoping I'd predict it and be cool, but. Trubbish, Whalmer, Taylo. Phantom, Cast Form, Weeping Bell, Aqua Patch, Enhanced Hammer, Oracoria Reverse sets in a uh, Honchkrow, but that's another rare, so we got two rare, r rare reverses, and I need to speed up because I've opened three packs in the span of four minutes, which is going to make this video take forever to upload, and I already had like a 20 minute video I did like download to a computer, so I had space to upload, 
you know, the struggle. Belt route. Okay, the only... That's weird that you're doing that, just saying. So, that code? Jack, he just smelled the code. He's like, it smells so good. Like, that's weird. All right. And did it. It's a grass energy. I'm going to stop showing off the energies now. The bell sprout, pan sham. And of the all the regular rares I want to get, I want victory bell. Botch hop. No, I said botch hop. I meant botch hop. Beware. Brooklet Hill. Slow bro. Reverse altar of the sun. And Whiskash. Whiskash is cool. He's a cool dude. Can we go for that? Let's go for... I predict this pack. What? I didn't even know this was possible. Yeah, all the pack cards are rejected. Okay, I don't know why I'm trying to show you that, but I like ripped open the pack and it was like clear. So I don't know why I tried to show you that, but it's a thing that just happened. So here's that. Jack thinks there's something good. Let's go for Toxapex GX, because I actually have already gotten Toxapex, and I like traded it for a Dragonite EX because I wanted to. But it was a cool card. I wouldn't mind getting it. Why did I show that? I'm not supposed to show that. But Vanilla, Wishy Washy, Gumi, Wimpod, Jengmo O, Beware, Sligu, Fletchinder, Litwick, and Vanillix. So, it's not amazing pulls. Vanillix came in like a pre release thing. How they do those pre release, um, like deck builders, you know what I'm talking about? And Vanillux was a card that was in there, and I actually want to match with Vanillux because it was a good card. Okay. Oh, it's a GX again. <laughs> I keep seeing them on accident. Actually, I think it might be Turtonator. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop looking. Cast <laughs> form. Gothita. Patrat, Carvana, Cottony, Marini, Glavebo, Lampen, Fletchling, Sylveon. Well, I'm not gonna be mad about that. Sylveon GX is very cool. Well, there it is. Um, I don't know. I thought it was Tartanator, though. But Sylveon GX. So we got two Ultra Rares. And we are through the box the whole way yet. So that's nice. And there's a Fletchling. There's the code. One, two, three, four. One, two. So, let's get a victory bell in this pack. Fletchling, a lowland geodude, barboach, rockra, clefairy, vanillish, Choice Band, uh, Lama Mola, Reverse Mimikyu, that's a rare, oh, Hollow Minior, okay. So the thing about Hollow Minior is it's cool, and I actually have it in a non-hollow form, I th actually I probably made that up. I might, I keep thinking I got it at the pre-release non-hollow, but I don't, think, I don't think I'm making that up. Which, so that's cool, but the thing is, it like kind of, it can, if you get a ton of hollows, it can throw off your GX ratio, which you never want your, well not GX, but just ultra rare ratio. So, you don't want to get a ton of hollows, you're obviously gonna get some hollows. You just don't want, like, too many hollows, because that can really screw up your GX ratio. And, um, there's the code. And you never want your GX ratio screwed up, because then you have less chances to get that awesome Tapu Lele Hyper Rare. And everyone wants to get that awesome Tapu Lele Hyper Rare. Okay, Vanilla, Gligar, Litwick, Clefairy, Tentacool, Celai, Gothrita, Fieldblower, Alumamola, and Pangaro. Now, if I were making this set personally, I would make the rare, like, just in Sun and Moon and Guardians Rising. Oh, no, you're falling, Blastoise, go there. Blastoise isn't the most stable, he's good at standing cards. Or not, cards, plushes. But I would do it so that, that like, energy you get could potentially be a secret rare energy just because 
I would do it that way. And I accidentally saw that card again. So I know there's not really anything good in this set. Or not set pack. This set's actually freaking awesome. But if I was going to do it, I would put the energies, like, I would make them also have a chance of being secret rare. Just because that'd be cool. Machop, slow, slow poke, Alolan Vulpix. Wait, what does that do? Because they all have this, like, all the Alolan forms have a attack that doesn't cost any search deck for the two Pokemon. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, Veldum, Petlil, Paula, Marini, Wimzaka, Alolan Geodude, and Oricorio. Which is another cool card. I, I don't know, I like Oricorio. I mean, I have Ori. And Ori's technically named after Ori in the Blind Forest, but we can say he's named after an Oricorio, because why not? Oh, we get it like Pokemon, why not? That's stupid. Three, four, energy, one, two. Let's get a secret rare in this pack. Who doesn't love secret rares in this pack? And it's a fire energy. Secret rare, hyper, rock rough, although I consider them the same thing. Salandit, Murkrow, Snow Run, Patrat, Altar of the Sun, Alolan Graveler, Fletchinder, Reverse Oricorio. That's a rare. And another Oricorio. So look, there's Oricorios. Actually, the only Acori or Cori Oreo, Oricorio we don't have is the Fire Oricorio because we got the Psychic one in reverse. We just got like the Ghost one in reverse, and we got the Psychic one in reverse and normal rare form. And then uh, we got a what's it called? Oh, I accidentally saw that code on the back of the pack, but it's a white code, which is good because the packs are shiny. But then we got a what's it called? And we just got the. Uh, Electric Oricoria. That's what I'm trying to say. So, we're actually almost halfway through this box, guys. That That's crazy. I feel like it's going really quick, but Psychic Energy. Litwick, Fletchling, Carvana, Barboach, Clefairy, Gotharita, Field Blower, Marini, Altar of the Moon, and Comfey Hollow. Which, I kind of forgot Comfey is a hollow in this set. Which is cool. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left, including this one. So I think we can probably get at least one more GX or slash ultra rare slash just awesome card. Um I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, I hope we can. Because otherwise that means our other half of the box needs to be really ultra rare heavy for us to have good cards. Taylor, well we already have good cards with Phantom, Cast Form, Nose Pass, Featherbird, Whimsicott, Hakamo'o, Metang, Wimpod, and Rayquaza. Which I don't know if this is good. I kind of play TCG so I would, I consider this decent but Turbo Storm's like attached to basic energy cards from your poke or discard pile of one of your bench Pokemon, so you can't do it to Ray Closet itself, but you can do it to any of your other bench Pokemon. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's actually considered like a viable competitive move, but I don't know. It doesn't sound bad because you know energies. Are, I don't know. This is like just my random per personal preference when I play, but I like to like. And sometimes this is bad, but I like really heavily stock my decks with energies um because i get nervous that i'm not going to have energies which I, is probably bad sometimes um grab the trash lantern which is good so i do that sometimes then i'm like oh shoot like i have a mantis lock deck that i'm building right now and it should be finished like this week when the cards get here so i'd order some of the cards but i like it like, it's not one of those decks that you need to add a ton of energy. I saw, I keep forgetting that I'm not supposed to be looking at the codes, but it's a white code. I keep, I feel like I keep only ruining the white codes for some reason. But, like, so, because, um, because it can get two grass energy from your discard pile into your hand, which you, in, in the deck, you only use grass energy, but I, I had tons of energy to it. Gumi, Wimpod, Jangmo'o, Trebish, Whelmer, Hala. Aether Paradise, Vanillish, Alolan Golem Rare, and Blissey Hollow. Oh boy. Okay. This is looking like it could be extremely hollow heavy, which is not good. Although Blissey is a nice hollow. But you don't want to have a really... Because we've got 
three hollows and two DXs. Like, this isn't looking good, guys. I don't know, what am I saying? We still have a half a box, like, I don't know. But I haven't gotten any new ultra rares and we need to get new ultra rares because we live on the ultra rares. Although getting hollow was nice. I, I kind of didn't even think about hollow or how or mallow that you can get them. Uh, Trabish, Haka Mo'o, Rescue Stretcher, Pseudo Woodoo Roadblock's pretty decent. Vanillish, oh, Victory Belt, yes, cool. Okay. Pollen Hazard, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. I feel like that'd be a nightmare. Or, uh, what, it's not, because it, you can't do it to your Pokemon, because I was about to say, like, there's that Ancient Origins mod champ, but then I was like, wait, no, because that works well with Ariados, because it has, like, that crazy hammer, I think is what it's called, but it's like if you have a status condition, you do way more damage or something, and then you get rid of your status condition, and then like, so, um, Ariados can poison, like, your a Pokemon, or like your opponent's Pokemon, or both of them, or, or that you can like choose or something like that, so like, you poison and, and stuff, it works good, but okay, anyways, Barboach, Rockruff, Clefairy, Spinelet, Wishy Washy, Energy Recycler, Mallow, just talking about Mallow, another Sudowoodo in that spot, Wishy Washy Reverse, Gothitelle. Oh, Gothitelle, I kind of forget Gothitelle's in this set too. Okay, second to last pack in this half of the box. So let's see if we can get something out of either this one or the last one. I really hope we can, because this would kind of stink if we got two Ultra Rares in three Hollows. I mean, like, it, that's cool, but like, just for like this part of the box, I don't know why I keep showing you the energies, but I feel like I'm getting a surplus of darkness energy. But Snow Run, Satrat, Gligar, or Gligar, Bellsprout, Cottony, Glalie, which is that? Okay, no, wait, yeah, this is uncommon. Machoke, Energy Lotto, Salazzle Reverse, that's rare, and Talon Flame, which Salazzle, I want to just tell you a story about Salazzle and me. So when I played for Pokemon Sun, and this is the last pack of this half. It's because something good. But I thought that I know Salazzle or Salandit only evolved if it was a girl. And so I played through that whole game with a Salandit, waiting for it to evolve into Salazzle, which it never did because it was a boy. And so that was like kind of frustrating because Salandit's not very good by itself. But you know, whatever. Water energy. Okay, Alolan Vulpix, Feldum, Petalil. Fletchling, Alolan Geodude, Altar of the Moon, Choice Span, Tentacruel, Snow Runt, and the last rare of this half. Oh, shoot! Is Politoed Hollow. Which is really cute, but like, it's so many. It, that's four hollows and two ultra rares. If we get a hollow heavy box, I'm actually kind of mad. Okay, so I'm gonna end there. Um, just to recap Sylveon GX, Hollow, uh, and then Hollow's Politoed Blissey, Comfey, Minior. So I'm going to end here, and then I'll see you at the next part.